Mr. Churchill. Well? We found the bodies of two of them, Svars and Solikov. And what about the others? I must have the leader. Peter Pietkov? Yes, Peter Pietkov. Peter the painter. Policeman, killer in chief. Where is he? No sign of him, I'm afraid, sir. I'm not even certain he was in the house. Some of the men thought they saw him. Can't be sure. He was in here all right, and I want him found. I brought the army out onto the streets of London for this, and Parliament will be paying for my blood if all I've got to show for it are two accomplices. I don't care how long it takes or how much it costs. I want him found. Thousand eggs? Yes, sir. Listen to me. I want you to stop talking for a moment and listen to me. I do not. 3,500 onions? Yes, sir. I do not know Or your very bloody godfather. That man is not getting onto that ship. Do you understand me? No. Hitman. Please will not cut in. Take over here. No. Mr. Lightfoot is extremely busy. He doesn't want to speak to you. Go about your business. Conceive for yourself. Just use your eyes. The man is very busy. What's the difficulty? I have a brother, sir. I'm leaving the ship in New York. I was hoping he could travel with me. We plan to make a new life in America. What do you mean, travel with you? I've heard you are missing a steward. My brother is a steward. Are we missing any? We are short of a steward, as it happens. Tom Richards of the first class dining room. Though I can't think how he knew. You don't want to be short-handed, sir. Not in first class. But he's Italian, sir. All the Italian waiters are in Mr. Gatti's a la carte restaurant. Those in first class are English and Irish. Well, it's not a law. If Richard turns up with a good story, your brother disembarks. Of course, sir. All right, the uniform fits, the job's his. What's his name? Paolo Sandrini, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Paolo. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes, yes. I'll get a boat. On this ship, they prefer the boilers to be understaffed in the first-class dining room. <laughs> Who's he, do you think? Looks like the wandering prophet. Peter Lobov. Take the next gangway. This is the second class. È impossibile. Come fai a essere un certo? Perché è impossibile. Ma dai, non fare lo scemo. Ieri sera, quando ti ho lasciato, sono andato nel pub dove si incontra l'equipaggio e questo Richards è stato il primo steward ad entrare. L'hai fatto ubriacare? Ora, può tornare a camminare, ma non prima che ci troviamo in mezzo all'Atlantico. Te la perdurerà mai, lo sai? Gli hai fregato il viaggio inaugurale del Titanic. Sopravviverà. Via, vai di là. Quando sei pronto, presentati al Chief Steward, hai capito? Lo so che devo fare. Ah, ah. I would like to see the tickets, sir. I had them just a moment ago. Oh, come on, let's leave them to him. Come on. <laughs> sir, just, just give me a minute, sir. I'm thirsty, ma. Just wait one minute, darling, and we'll go and look for a drink. But I'm thirsty, no. I'll do Excuse me. Da, I don't like it. You don't like what? I just don't like it. There's too much water underneath. Teresa, darling, 
I'd be worried if there wasn't enough. All right? Now let's find you a bottle of pop. Is your first trip to New York? Oh, no. Well, at the White Star Line for quite a while. And you've never been tempted to stay there? Is that your plan? Hopefully. To live in America? Well, put it this way, I'll never drink out of glass like this if I stay in Europe. <laughs> and everyone in America eats off porcelain and drinks from crystal. At least there's the chance that they might. Sandrini, may I inquire why you are half-dressed? His uniform wasn't properly fitted, and he wanted it right before a passenger saw him. Thank you. I'd better be off. Will I see you later? Maybe. When we finish serving dinner, I'll be in the servants' dining room. Unless I'm not. <laughs> I don't know your name. If I have to come looking for you tonight, I have to know who I'm looking for. Well, I won't have gone far. Not on a ship. Annie. Annie Desmond. Paul Sandrini. Will I see you later? My guess is you won't see anyone ever if you don't get back to work. Do you think we should have stayed and tried to change things? I have done enough of all that. It's like you've given up. And I don't care who knows it. Let the downtrodden cringe from the lash of their masters. I'm off to the new world and I won't be back. Cheers. Drop this. Aren't you going to thank him? Thank you. This is Peter Loboff. This is my wife, Mary. Mrs. Maloney. Well. That's not like you. What's the matter? Nothing. Sorry. Sorry I couldn't make it. I had an abaran in with the chief. He made me tidy every cupboard on the ship. What caused the running? Uh, something and nothing. Well, I was here, as I said I would be, and now I must go. But it's early. You have time for a walk. It's not early. I'm no time for anything. Where are you going? To settle my ladies in second class. Can they manage without you? <laughs> I hope not. If they could, I'd be out of a job. Can I come with you? What? Into their cabins? No, but I can walk you there. Along the boat deck, maybe? And how would the boat deck lead to second class? Uh, by a rather... Circuitous fruit. Traveling alone? And if I am? Just making conversation.
David Evans. I'm on my own, too. He travels fastest, travels alone, eh? Seem to be going at the same speed as everyone else. <laughs> What's your line? This and that. I was an army man, Scots Guards. Till I stopped a bullet and they kissed me goodbye. But I had a packet of leaving pay, so I'm not complaining. Why were you looking at me? Was I? Well, you seem familiar, that's all. Well, I'm not familiar. Not to you. should not be in first class anyway. You're a bad influence. Mm -hmm. You can't come with me. Oh, I can try. Time to go in. Don't you think we've had enough of a stroll for one night? I'm attempting to walk her into submission. Would you like some help, madam? I'm fine, thank you. It's getting cold. We ought to go inside. Can I come through? Not without an officer's permission, miss. I need to get into second class. Well, then you shouldn't be in first class, should you, miss? Please, I'll be late. Well, you ought to have thought of that before, miss. Hey, first class, second class, what about your own class? Have you no loyalty, man? Just this once. Don't try this again. Would you like me to turn down the bed, madam? Come in. This is mean to be unfriendly. <laughs> you saw how she looked at us when we invited us to tea. She couldn't have been more shocked if we'd spat in her face. <clears throat> Could you help me with this? You exaggerate. I do not. And why, in the name of God, did you agree to attend an Anglican service? Of course, Lord Manton. My pleasure, Lord Manton. I thought it'd be interesting. And the neck race. The grasp is a bit stiff. You have to squeeze it. Thank you. She thinks she's a countess. And she's right. Would you like me to turn down the bed, madam? Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, in nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Amen. I think I might stretch my legs up on deck. Not me, I'm off for another dose of religion. Anglican this time. Why? Because in first class. I'm curious, aren't you? I wired this ship, remember? I know every nook and cranny. But don't let me spoil your adventure. That's it. I'm always ready for a new adventure. What did he want? He's saying he's going up to the Anglican service. Although he doesn't strike me as a churchgoer. People are full of surprises. He says he wants to take a look. I might go too. What for? It's a chance to see first class. The Lord will smite you. I don't think God will damn me for a little curiosity. Suppose he turns out to be the God of the Old Testament? I'll have to risk it. Go on, then. Eh? 
Right. You're all coming with Daddy. What are you doing? I've only got two tonight. Why? The Wideners are giving a dinner party for the captain in Gatti's restaurant. They've asked the English lord and his family, the Astor, the Gordons, and the actress. So there's only the Ashton left. Oh. Makes you wonder what they've done wrong. Should I push them together instead of spreading them apart? I shouldn't ask that question in a crowded bar. Oh, the gentlemen so smart. Ladies in their fine dresses and sparkling tiaras. Do you ever ask yourself why do you have so much and you have so little? I don't think I've got so little. I don't believe in envy. Eats you up from the inside. Besides, wherever you go, there's always haves and have nots. Maybe. But I can name a place where it's easier to cross from one group to the other. America. <laughs> so they say. In America, men can go all the way right to the top if it's not afraid of hard work. Well, what about a woman? I'm not afraid of hard work. Can't I go to the top? What about a couple? Both ready to take a chance on a new life. What couldn't they achieve? Is that your dream? I've got a lot of dreams. But maybe that's the heart of them. Excuse me. I, I was wondering if you could help me. I was told this was the, the way to third class, but the door seems to be locked. Well, that's because it is locked. The, the class one Lady Manson's jewel case is, is jammed. I, I thought there might be somebody in, in steerage who could mend it. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't go in a third. Call your steward, he'll sort it. I, I didn't want her ladyship to find out. She'll think it's my fault. Bit of a tartar, is she? You know what they like. I certainly do. I'll pay whoever mends it. Well, all right. But if I get into trouble, I'm blaming you. E come fai a sapere che non ti passa appena tocchiamo terra? Lo so. E allora diglielo. Bravo. E cosa le offro, eh? Un poveraccio senza niente con dei bei sogni? Non è abbastanza. È meglio che vai, eh? Tra un po' servono la cena. Vai. Paolo, offri lei i tuoi sogni. Is there a locksmith there? Eh? Lady right has a job for one. It's just the lock of a small case. I'd be so grateful. <laughs> I 
I'll look at it if you like. I thought, I thought you could use this. And you'll need some light. I can see well enough. No, no. You can't. Take it over there. Just to the light in the corner. I can't find anything wrong with it. The key turns easily. Strange, it was, it was jammed before. Sixpence here somewhere. Keep your sixpence. I saw you come down. I would have got down here sooner, but the sailor wouldn't let me pass. Now, what was that about? Meaning? There was nothing wrong with that case when you took it out of the purser's office. Have you been spying on me? Look, what's the matter? I don't know what you're talking about. If you're in trouble, I'll try to help. But I can't do anything if you won't tell me what it is. Hey, come on. Come on, it can't be as bad as all that. I told you my dad was poorly, but he's more than that. And without his wage, there's no money for medicine. There's no, no money for food. There's no money to live. What have you done? I took a brooch. It were only a little one. She hardly wears it. She won't miss it. When I think of how many times you've told me off, there've been no standards. <laughs> ah, you found her then? Yes, thank you. She, uh, she doesn't look too clever. Oh, Miss Watson's just uh, having a bout of seasickness. Well, then she has my sympathy. It'll pass. I still don't understand what you're doing down here. I wanted a man to take the case somewhere out of sight. I gave him a piece of wire so they could see him trying to work it. I thought that I could blame him for the loss when her ladyship noticed it were missing. You let an innocent man go to prison? Of course not. Ooh. But they won't know it's gone till we're back in London and it'll be too late to arrest no, no, anyone no, then. No, no, you cannot be sure of either part of that. <laughs> now, where is it now? It's in my suitcase. In the hold, not wanted on voyage. Oh, what? I thought if a ladyship did notice. They would search my cabin and it wouldn't be found. So suspicion falls on that poor fella. When he goes to jail. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Now, here's what we'll do. You're going to dress her ladyship for dinner, and then. We'll go down to the hold, we'll fetch that bally thing, and you can put it in with the other jewels when you take the case back to the person. No. Yeah. Well, she wonder why I've got the case out at all. I normally only bring what she's going to wear in a jewellery roll. We'll give it back to the person now. Slip the brooch into the roll with the rest. She'll never notice. Come on. Can I interrupt? 
Yeah, do my dinner finish early. Oh, two of my servants miss theirs, and I don't like to send them to bed hungry. I'll find you something in a minute. So did they all go up to Signor Gatti's restaurant? Yeah, all except uh, Rashton, which Miss Rashton did not like. <laughs> God knows what it cost Mr. Wagner. <sighs> Why pay money when you can eat in first class for free? No answer to give you? Why did they miss their supper? I don't know. Doing something for their employers, I suppose. Go on with what you were saying earlier. What was I saying earlier? About your dreams. What about your dreams? I don't think I have dreams. I like yours. Mainly, I wait to see what happens and try to make the best of it. I believe in making things happen. Well, so do I, of course. When you've got a chance to. And, um... Will you marry me? You better finish clearing the table first. I'm serious. <laughs> no, you're not. But I am. <laughs> I know we are right for each other. At least I know you are right for me. Mr. Sandrini, we have only just met. Some things you know. Well, I'm sure that makes sense in Italy, but I'm from London. They were a little less impulsive. Would you take a chance? Couldn't we just get to know each other first like normal people? No. Because if we part when we get to New York, if you go back to England, we'll never meet again. My eye. Is your whole life so dramatic? Take a chance on me, please. You won't regret it. I promise. I must get back. Has your husband got a job to go to? When you get there? We'll be all right. Jim will always find something. You sound more hopeful than he does. Not really. He talks gloomy, but he always expects to land on his feet. I sometimes think I'm the other way around. Mm. So, he's a pessimistic optimist and you're an optimistic pessimist. Maybe. If you like. How about you? I only want to get away from Europe. I have no plans beyond that. Was Europe so bad? For me. But that's over now. Europe made me angry and I don't want to be angry anymore. I sometimes wish I'd been angrier. There's a part of me that envies your fight. Even if it was bloody. Even if people died. I don't mean I haven't been happy because I have. But I 
I suppose I've never put myself in danger for something I believed. Perhaps you're in danger now. Perhaps I am. No curse about Jim, it. for God's sake! He was drunk and he stole a kiss. You're the one who put us into steerage. What did you expect? Why have the engine stopped? What's that? Sounds like steam escaping. Time you go then. Come on. What should I do, sir? Get as many as you can of the second class women and children off on deck, and for heaven's sake, make them wear their life belts. Sir. She is going down then. Looks like it. Right, sir. And put on your own. Put his on and go up to you. No, I must get the jewels. There's no point in this. Let's get to the boat. Put it on. Put it on and go to the boat deck. Put it on and go to the boat deck. Put your life jacket on, sir. Please put your life jacket on. Don't worry. Can we not go up? Not yet. All in good time. But when will be a good time? because I'm not going to keep him down here for much longer. Don't worry, there's no danger. You sure? This is Titanic. She's safer than dry land. What about the children? Couldn't you just take them? Couldn't we? But you'll be followed by a pack of screaming mothers. That's it. And the children will be taken care of. Don't you worry about that. They're only waiting for her to arrive. Could you see anything? Not much. Getting the boat out. They say there's no danger. They're lying. Just do it. 
We could charge them. Francatelli, get in. But it looks so unsafe, my lady. Don't be a fool, Francatelli. This boat isn't sinking. That one is. We don't have much time. Come along. There must be more women. Well, there are no women here. So let some men get in. Cosmo? Mr. Lightoller was very clear. Women and children only. But if there aren't any? Well, I'm getting in if no one else is. Come on, chaps. Hey, if they're going, so are we. Wait a moment. You need someone to crew that thing. Where is it? Right then. Lower away. You can't lower it with so few people. There's room for far more. Officer, please give the order to lower the boat. At least take her. No! No, I can't leave yet. Not yet. Well, there you are then. We tried. Lower the boat. Lower away. Run. Lower away. Steady. What on earth going on here? Who are they? The waiters from Gatti's restaurant. Of course. Exactly what I was afraid of. Well, we don't allow this sort of racket to go on. I'm not sure what we can do, sir. Maybe not. We should have to do something. Quiet! Not having this lot running right all over the ship, screaming and shouting and upsetting the ladies. Ah, dove è andato? Prego. Non andare via. Che ha detto? Signore, che ha detto? This boat is gone. Go the other way. The other way, this boat is gone. It's not even half full. Stop! What can we do? We can't bring it back, my lord. Go the way. That's enough! Stand back! Keep back! Let my wife and children through. Stand back! Hey, hey! What's that? I said, stand back. Where go? Go! 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 Wait. Is there another way out? Follow me. Where will this take us? I know who you are. It's come to me. What the hell does this matter? I was at the siege of Sydney Street. They gave out wanted posters. <laughs> You're Peter Piatkoff, aren't you? Peter the Painter. You're crazy? No, 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 I'm not crazy. It's been preying on me since we left Southampton. Peter the policeman killer. How many was it you murdered, eh? Four? Five? Half a dozen? We are on a sinking ship. We have other things to worry about. Oh, no. Don't think I'll let it go because I won't. I can't. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure you are. <laughs> has him safe somewhere, but I can't find it. But where can he be? I'd better go with him. We have to keep looking. Come on, Liz. I hope you find him. Come on. Officer coming through. Excuse me. Please keep in order. Thank you. What happened to the Italians? Safely under lock and key, sir. 
Was that really necessary? Best that way, sir. Then don't forget to let them out. What's the point of keeping them down here? It's company policy. Move on. No. There are women here and children. They'll be allowed up in good time. I don't go out now for Peter Secret and take the chances like everyone else. Go away. Listen to him. I won't fight for you homeless here. Let us pass. Come with me. They're losing control. We can get to. Why would I come with you? There is no time for that now. Come and we can see her and the children safely for both. Then we can fight to the death. If that's a promise. Yes. are gone, but they've lied a collapsible from a davit at the far end of the trying to launch one more. If they manage, that'll be the last. Come on. Mrs. Allison, come with us. There's a boat loading at the far end. We'll be there just as soon as we find our baby. Can I take the child? Please. Please let me. Don't worry. We'll be there. It ain't gonna wait for us. Come on. Lenny, come on. Get in, the women need you. You heard him. Get in. Make it easier for me, please. Come on, please. No time for this. Come on. Up. Take my hand. That's it. Any more ladies? Please come. Come to the front. I never kissed you. Kiss me, New York. Do you mean the man's a cruet, sir? A stoker. But now it's a steer. Did Mary Sandrini get out? Have you seen him? He got out of the boiler room. I heard they locked him away with the other Italians. What? Look, they're loading a boat. Is that boat full? They're not loading it with two days. Do 
you know where to put the Italians? The one they locked up. Why are you just a joy now? Where are they? Where are they? The run that corner, the last door to the end. But you won't get them out. The door's locked. And I'll stay locked until I head to the ocean at the end. Mario! That's me! Mario! 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 Mario, come si apre? Corre, dottore! E chiuda! E chiuda chiave! E chiuda chiave! Aiuto! Ah! 